Hello, Mr. Noor. Good afternoon. How are you? How are you? So nice to meet you today. Nice to meet you too. How was your way through the UBM? Wonderful. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, have Thanks. a seat, please. Okay, Mr. Noor. Uh, <coughs> thank you for your coming uh, and welcome to be with uh, me today. Um, uh, in order to complete our last session, uh, which was about the uh, grooming and will appearance in hospitality. So uh, our today's um, uh, topic will be how to uh, tie your neck in different styles. Uh, 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 and we will choose uh, one of this, uh, these styles to be uh, uh, our practice, practical today. Uh, it will be a, a full Windsor uh, neck tie knot. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> so uh, in beginning, we have to. Um, I have to show you that uh, by the end of this session, uh, session, you will be able to recognize the origin and the history of the uh, uh, neck ties. Uh, number two, you have to. Uh, you will be able to differentiate between the different styles of the uh, neck tie knots, uh, distinguish different fabric uh, of uh, uh, ties, and finally to practice. Uh, uh, tying the uh, necktie in a full Windsor uh, style. Uh, first of all, we have to start with the, uh, uh, the history and origin of the uh, neck ties. Yeah. Uh, do you know uh, when and where the uh, origin and the history uh, uh, of neck tie starts? Yeah, I, as far as I remember, it was started in France. Yeah, it was the first time, and that was the first edition for it. And I think it was in the uh, 18th century, no, uh, 20th century actually, 19 something, I don't remember exactly. Okay, okay. Uh, to make it more clear for you, the origin and the history of ties started in the uh, 17th century. Uh, 17th century. Yeah, uh, uh, while the uh, uh, King uh, Louis XIII uh, uh, hired soldiers, Croatian soldiers, uh, for the uh, Thirty War in uh, France, the Croatian uh, soldiers uh, wore uh, some kind of scars around uh, uh, their necks. Uh, then they, uh, this scar uh, uh, are uh, what were famous by the uh, by La Caravate. Uh, 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 it is a uh, French word that uh, meaning uh, it's meaning uh, tie. Okay. Then in uh, uh, some next decades, the uh, the tie style and the uh, form of it has been developed many times. Uh, can you tell me uh, uh, in modern time when the modern tie emerged uh, uh, for the uh, business? So maybe this is the right date. I know it was in 19 something, right? Yeah, I, actually, it, it's not. It, it, it was in uh, 1920s. 1920s. Yes, this is the first uh, uh, emergence of the modern tie in 1920s. Uh, by uh, uh, it was uh, invented, uh, uh, developed by uh, uh, Jesse uh, 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 Jesse Langsdorf, uh, one of the uh, most important uh, fabric uh, manufacturers in New York. Then the uh, uh, tie uh, style and the patterns of uh, of tie has been developed uh, several times to be within the. As you uh, uh, see here, we have different uh, patterns and styles of ties. Uh, the wide one and the uh, narrow one. Uh, we have many uh, styles of the patterns of the style of the ties according to the fashion. Okay, so now our question is about the how many styles of necktie uh, do you know? I know it was actually the style was different along the years, it depends on the fashion, but I think now there is a slim one, the slim tie. Uh, and also the one which is a uh, simple one. Okay, that's correct. We have many, actually we have many styles, different styles of, uh, uh, of neck tie, uh, including, as you see, the slim one, the simple one, the uh, half Windsor, the uh, uh, full Windsor. By the way, the full Windsor uh, uh, was invented in the uh, 1930s by the Duke of Windsor in uh, yani, uh, the year uh, 1936. And, and this is uh, uh, one of the prominent uh, development of the uh, uh, tie uh, styles, uh, necktie styles. Uh, uh, as well, we have uh, some uh, additional styles of the necktie, like the uh, 
shall be tie knot, uh, the four handed uh, tie knot, and many different styles of the uh, necktie knots. Now, uh, my question is about the uh, different types of fabrics that uh, uh, are uh, used for making, for manufacturing the uh, neckties. Do you know uh, uh, what are the different types of fabrics that are used for manufacturing the ties? Yeah, I guess it could be manufactured from uh, cotton, silk, nylon. Perfect. Uh, maybe a few things as, as well. Really correct, really correct. We have many types of, of fabrics that are uh, used for manufacturing the uh, neck ties, including, as you said, nylon, silicon, uh, 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 cotton, linen. Uh, but the most important uh, uh, fabric that are the most uh, usable uh, fabric for uh, manufacturing the necktie is the silk by uh, 40%, almost 40% yeah. used, uh, uh, manufactured by the silk. Uh, then uh, we uh, now are going to uh, uh, go to the, uh, the practicing how, how to tie uh, your necktie in a full Windsor uh, style. Uh, this will be our uh, today's uh, practice. So uh, I will uh, show you a demo uh, for how to uh, tie your uh, necktie. Uh, and then I will give you the opportunity to, uh, to practice several times until you can uh, be perfect in uh, tying your, uh, uh, your necktie. Now I put the uh, necktie around my neck. So the question is, uh, where we can put the white, as you say, we have two uh, sides, we have two ends of the tie, yeah. uh, the one narrow one, one and the wide one, yes, actually, uh, exactly. So uh, uh, my question is where I can put my uh, necktie, uh, white end, is it in the right hand or in the left hand? I guess it's in the right hand. Exactly, that's correct. The uh, uh, wide end of the necktie must be put or in the right hand, or even we, you can uh, put it in the left hand. But uh, uh, with my uh, uh, my own uh, practicing, I always put it in the right one. So you have to put it uh, uh, the wide uh, end in the right hand. It must be uh, uh, more longer of the uh, uh, narrow end, but almost by the third. Uh, third of the uh, uh, narrow one. So uh, the next step is uh, how can I tie it? Uh, uh, which part I must cross over the another one? I guess the biggest one. So the tallest one. Exactly, the exactly. That's correct. Really correct. For uh, the first uh, step, we have to cross over the uh, uh, the wide end to be crossed over the uh, the narrow one. Then uh, try to. Put it from the left side to be in the front again. So the next step, have I turned it to the left or the right? If you turn it to the right, it, it will be it will go out from the body from the not exactly the exactly. So the I have to cross it again from the bottom to the. The, from left to right side, yeah. then make the uh, uh, big part of the uh, uh, of the uh, uh, white end to come uh, up from the bottom to the uh, the above the, uh, uh, the knot. Then put it inside the this part of and drag it down yeah. to be stretch it. Now. I almost reach it, the desired knot style. I want to tie my neck uh, uh, tie according to. So then I have to stretch it up to the neck. What do you note here? That's uh, actually the narrow one is longer than the wide one, which is. Exactly, right. that's really correct. Yeah. This is because I don't consider the distance between the longer, uh, the longer between the uh, wide one and the uh, wide end and the uh, narrow end. So I have to amend it to be more taller and the, from the uh, 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 wide uh, end 
and shorter from the uh, uh, narrow ends to be yeah, more uh, matched to the, 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 the lens and the uh, desired style. So I have to put it like this. Okay, okay. then repeat the practice as the first time. Okay, cross over the white end, then bring it from down to up. Yeah. Okay, put it the white end in the front, then cross it down and try to bring it again from down to up. Then, like this, then stretch it. Okay, now, yeah. How do you find it now? That's it's more, uh, <coughs> more match it, yeah. more match it, more, more proper. Yeah. Okay, in a the uh, style that I want to uh, make it. Yeah. Now, I will give you the choice, uh, I, sorry, the opportunity to uh, make your uh, first demo, if you please, can you take this tie to, to show me how to uh, tie it according to the uh, steps that has uh, have been illustrated. So I'm going to make the white one here. Take your time to do it. Now, what is the wrong step that you have did with tying your neck? Yeah, I didn't consider uh, how much uh, the wire, the narrow one should be long, how much okay. the wide one should be long, how much the one should be. So I, I guess if I, if I did it again, I will do it the right way. Okay, let, let's show, uh, let me show you again how to uh, uh, to tie your necktie according to the uh, style, the desired style, full windsor style, okay? As you see, we put the uh, uh, narrow end at the left hand. Yeah. We have to consider the how long the uh, end, uh, end part, in uh, the narrow end and the uh, wide end, then cross over the, yeah. the wide one to be cross over the uh, narrow one then bring it from down to up, okay? Then go in a second round of the uh, crossover, then make it like this. I did the same, right? Yeah, yeah. Then, You will do it. Perfect. Looks great. Yeah, now the wide one is longer. But yeah, 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 exactly, exactly, it's exactly. It's some, uh, Mashallah, you did great. Thank you for uh, completing the practice correctly. Uh, now to uh, uh, to uh, tie our uh, uh, today's uh, session with the uh, previous men uh, mentioned uh, objectives, I have to ask you some questions to uh, be assured that all of the uh, knowledge and uh, skills are already uh, gained. Uh, uh, when was the first emergence of the necktie? Uh, if you mean when uh, the, uh, 
the king called this uh, Louis Ukrainian, 13, yes, Louis 13. the king of Louis 13. Uh, he called uh, Ukrainian, uh, Ukrainian soldiers, Croatian, Croatian soldiers. And then it's uh, in the next century it became more stylish and more modern. And I believe it was 1920. And uh, uh, then uh, it was uh, had some another another step of um, modernization in 1936. Exactly, exactly. And it was uh, by uh, Winston. Yes, this is my next question. Yeah. Uh, uh, can you tell me who is the inventor of the modern necktie? That's what Windsor, uh, Jesse, Jesse, Lonsdorf. 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 I'm sorry, the name is. He was he, he was uh, of the famous uh, manufacturers in New York yeah. in 1930s. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you tell me when did the modern necktie emerge? You said uh, before that it was in the 19s. Yeah. Uh, it was exactly in the 19s, uh, uh, 1920. Yeah. Okay. So uh, can you tell me? Uh, 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 Three different styles of the uh, neck uh, tie knots. All right, uh, we said the slim one, uh, simple one, shapely one. Um, half windsor, half windsor, full windsor, full windsor. and a four-handed yeah, uh, neck tie yeah. uh, uh, knot style. Uh, which type of fabric is the uh, highly percentage used for manufacturing the neck ties? That was forty percent. Thank you, thank you, exactly. What is the main difference between half windsor knot style and the full winds, uh, windsor uh, neck knot? Uh, I believe the difference is uh, between how how to tie it itself. But we, what we are using right now is the most modern and most simple one, straightforward. Exactly. The, the the main the major difference between the half windsor and the full windsor is the uh, number of layers. Yeah, number of lives. lives. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, 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 now, Mr. Noor, uh, by the end of our... Let me ask you a question. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. If, if we made the full windsor, I think we need a longer tie than this, right? Or yes, or yes, yes, exactly. Because it's going to be short. Yes, yes, exactly. exactly. Yeah, unfortunately, this is the available one uh, that I can use to I show you. This is the one which is usually now used, or usually we can now see in the, in the markets. Yes. now... Not everyone is doing the yes, whole yes, yes. one. Yes, it will be perfect with the more uh, wide pattern uh, uh, next time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, now, and by end of this ses uh, session, you are able to uh, uh, recognize the origin and the history of neck uh, tie. Uh, you are able uh, to differentiate between the different styles of the neck tie nodes uh, and distinguish between the different types of uh, fabrics that are used for manufacturing the uh, uh, neck ties and finally you are able to practice how to tie the uh, neck tie according to the full Windsor style okay uh, uh, now uh, by by end of our session uh, 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 we have to uh, uh, I have to inform you that uh, next session we will learn about the uh, right measurements of uh, gentleman suits so uh, uh, with the previous uh, session, with the current session, and with the uh, next session, we will uh, give you a full knowledge about how to be a well-groomed hospitality man. Thank you, Mr. Noor, and, and so nice much, to sir. meet you today, and, and wish you a good day. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.